Hey guys, good morning. So it's been over seven days now since we started doing the campaign here on LinkedIn. I didn't make any video to talk to you about the CV that you sent and your cover letter. Um, the reason I didn't do that was due to the volume of video content that you guys were getting and I didn't want you guys to miss out on any opportunity of learning. So now that the time has passed, I wanted to talk to you about your CV. I've been receiving a lot of CVs recently and the majority of them actually go from three to eight pages. I mean, pages and pages and pages of content. And not only content, but like spiels, as we would say, of, of explaining what you do in your current job and what you do in your role. They're not highlighting key points about who you are and what you do. Now, in that first 10 seconds that I read your CV or a recruiter or a HR person picks up your CV on the table, they're going to take a look at it and they're going to inspect. They're going to say, OK, what can I see? We've got their job title. What degree do they have? What country are they from? OK, what was their last employment? What are they doing? Literally, you've got 10 seconds. And if you don't get the buy in from the first page of your CV, you may as well forget about it. You've got to make sure that that first page has enough crucial information on that first page so that you can get the buy-in from the, from the CV viewer, from the hiring manager, from whoever is the key decision maker at that point. You've got to think about having a profile picture. Is your profile picture good and professional? Is it up there in the top corner? Does it say where you're currently located and where you're willing to work? Does it say your notice period, if you're immediately available for interview? Do you have your contact information? Um, does it have your experience summary? So a lot of professionals, what they do on their first page of their CV, they add like a small section that just summarizes the job titles that they've done in their career. So that that employer or recruiter knows directly from looking at your CV, this person has worked in this position, this position, and this position. The last three key positions in your career, they can see what you've done. If you're a graduate and you don't have experience, then it will be a bit different for you. Your first page will be about selling your key skills, what you've studied in university, and what added value, working experience, maybe voluntary or projects you've worked on, what can you bring to the table? So have a think about it. Get your CV out. Have a look at it. How many pages is it? For professionals that have been in the business for a while, your CV might be maximum, maximum three, four pages, but even that is really killing it because if that one page doesn't sell yourself on the first 10 seconds, you've lost all hope. And the, the most important thing about a CV is making sure that you can bring your character to life on paper. And it's very difficult doing that. So, if you want examples, just go on Google, type in best CV examples and click images. You'll find some great examples. If you're looking for something specific to your industry, just search the industry that you work in. And again, you will find several examples on LinkedIn or on Google to help you out. I'm not an expert in writing CVs, but I can tell you that I've read hundreds of thousands of CVs in my career. And how do I screen them? Well, first of all, I look at their education. I look at their job title. I look at the tenure, the duration of employment in each position. How long have they worked there? What might be their reason for moving from each company to each company? I look at the countries that they've worked in. And then I, I go through their skills and I read their introduction, their summary about them, what they're looking for or what they can bring to the table. It's really important to grab my attention in that first 10 seconds or anyone's attention who's reading it. So key takeaways for today. Make sure you've got a photo on the top of your CV. Your name clearly at the top, a contact number and an email. Make sure you have some area on there where you're specifying what job you are looking for in which country or countries. You could specify that you're open to opportunities in various global locations within this industry or that industry. You have to highlight your key areas of expertise. If you've worked in HR or finance, focus on the domain that you've worked in. Maybe you've worked in risk management, accounting, or if you've been in HR, you've been in talent development, recruitment, strategy, planning, uh, all different aspects, compensation and benefits. 
mention keywords. And remember that when a recruiter searches a database of CVs, you're on a pile with hundreds and thousands of other CVs. You've got to make sure that you have enough key content keywords in your CV in order to be found or detected by those scrollers in the database. You won't be detected if you don't have enough content that describe titles. If you're looking for a HR role or a finance role, for example, HR, HR specialist, HR officer, HR generalist, um, compensation and benefits, talent management, manpower planning, um, all different areas. So make sure your keywords have key content related or specific to the job that you're applying for. You don't need just one CV. You might be applying for one job, but you can tailor your CV according to that job to ensure that you are selected. Read through the job description. Check the competencies that are required, the skill that's required. Check all the requirements of the role, every single aspect, and make sure that you highlight the similarities or the experience that you have on your CV when you are editing your CV or formatting it according to that job. So I hope that this helps you for cover letters and, and these types of things, for the introductory email when you're sending your CV. Just remember that that person reading your CV is not a robot, that they are a human being just like you. So try to make your profile stand out. Try to be a little bit creative, a little bit different, add some color, but no boxes. What is with CVs with hundreds of tables and boxes? Just be creative in another way, but ensure content is clear and readable and easy to understand. Not too much text, bullet points, keep it to the point. Thanks for watching this video. If you know someone that wants tips or techniques about writing your CV, tag them in this video, comment below, and I'm happy for you to share my video wherever you want across any social media platform. Thank you for watching and have a great day, guys.